What's up, guys? And welcome to my channel. I'm a Pekka Sumbalesa border post. Guys, total chaos, total confusion. Guys, the place is dirty, filthy, very muddy. Guys, that's what I'm showing you today on my video. This is a place where you can sell anything. Vegetables of all kind, rape, tomato, fruits, pineapples, goats, pigs, fish of all types. Guys, that's the video for today. So this Kasumbalesa border post, guys, is between Zambia and Democratic Republic of Congo. So if you are new on my channel, subscribe, turn on bell notification, give this video a thumbs up. I will start by showing you how I traveled, guys, from Uchirilabongwe on a small, on a taxi up to the border here. So let's check out the video, guys. Chirirabombwe town going to the border, Kasumbalesa border post, entering into the Democratic Republic of Congo also known, which was also known as Zaire. Now, what this video is going to offend some people, definitely. Take a look at all these trucks stuck on the way. I'm entering. Now, the video for today is typically describing a trade place this place to start with has got the potential to bring forex to bring development to the country in the sense that you can see there are many businesses here Marco Polo tiles you saw dangote trucks there is cement which comes in it's going to congo you can see these guys pulling ordering stuff you can sell literally anything here. Things you can sell in Zambia here, when you bring them here, you pay, you can sell them two, three, four times higher than what you do actually sell deep in Zambia. Why? There is a huge market for especially crops animals like pigs like i said in my preamble of the video everything sells here this place where normally mm, regarded the people who buy this are normally congolese the people from the drc congo who have got tons of money but they don't produce what zambia is able to produce most of these things will be bought by the people from the Congo DRC. They will cross into Zambia, come and buy, then go back to their Zambia. But um, I don't know why. This is why I made this video. Take a look. It is muddy, unhygienic environment, very unpleasant place. You can see you have to wear a rubber. Uh, boots or what we call gum boots of course to wear. there is literally no place to pass proper confusion everything can sell as I'm telling you 
I saw goats, people who brought goats uh, and pigs, they are sold in no time. Take a look, tomatoes. You know tomatoes can be so cheap in Zambia, but you bring here, they will make really good profit when farmers bring their stuff here. You can order them anywhere in Zambia, come and resell here. You make a profit, yes. I'm sure you have heard about Kasumbalesa border. This is an onion shade. So you bring onions, the Congolese will still buy it. But let me tell you a few things. Government has not paid so much attention to fixing this place or legalizing. Thank God. The new government, when the new president came in, he said, let's not treat our friends from the Congo, DR, see as the smugglers. Because they were just told like his Congolese are just smugglers. He said, let's call them our customers. Let's not insult them. But there is need to restore order here, to put up order. There is no orders. You can see this market, I'm travelment. You can't stand. They will push you. Somebody will always be coming behind. Take a look. There is market for everything. And the price here is even put in the uh, Congolese currency. Some of it in this market. Because why? People from across come to buy here. Zambians, very, very shocking. You can see fish, hot chili, potatoes, tomatoes. The place is not even hygienically uh, maintained. It is just business as usual and it has been going on for years. So this is why um, I feel government should step in and up the standards. And by the way, one thing like I said, I like bringing positive stories, but this one will offend a lot of people. Why do I say so? Are you aware that Zambian trucks, most of the trucks you are seeing coming here or buses, they will just reach. I saw buses coming from Congo entering into Zambia. The same thing happens in Tanzania. Zambian drivers don't cross Nakonde border to enter into Tanzania, but Tanzanians who come through Zambia go up to Zimbabwe. Zambians don't enter Tanzania. Here it is even worse. Take a look first at how mad the place looks like. The, where people like, for example, these are trucks where there are people buying big bags. Trucks, all these are carrying pineapples. Why? Because Zambia produces so much pineapples such that this is the market which can buy off everything. Look at these sacks. There are people with big, big sacks. Now, do you know that these truck drivers... People will not like this point, but let me say it anyway. These trucks, do you know that most of them, three quarters, 90% of them will turn from the border and go back. They will not cross with these things. You know why? Zambians are not welcome in the Congo, in the Democratic Republic of Congo. They are even killed. I mean killed. Whatever the system, whatever, whether it is the people, that is not really unfair. That's what I wanted to tell you about this market. Can you imagine? They can't sell this. And now it started raining heavily. No wonder the mud. Because why? It is in the middle of the rainy season. So this is a very sad scenario. Good business opportunity. Yes, you can come and sell here. Yes, it's a good market. And I tell many Zambians... Yes, I've seen for you as travelment. The market is there for everything and good price, but there is a mess. Like this time around, the police had to tell us not to, to turn back if we can because in the rain season it is muddy. Kilometers of uncleared congestion of these trucks. These trucks could not even move fast it was like five kilometers from the border where you have to walk it is so so and conducive to do business but there's market that is the truth if you have something to sell the kasumbalesa border post yes it will sell but the environment is not safe the environment is very bad 
I can tell you the truth. Zambians are good people. Do you know that the Congolese are very welcome in Zambia, but a Zambian who go in the Congo side, trust me, I think it has to also do with the volatile situation in the Congo. Thank you so much for watching. It may be a negative video, like I said, but I just wanted to find out the market and show you. This is when now I decided to go back and see, see the tracks, kilometers. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.